All right, thank you so much for staying with us. This right here is still your best launch hour entertainment show, East Wash Baby. As the year 2022 comes to an end, let's look back at the memorable events and significant wins in the Nigerian entertainment industry. We saw a lot of our faves make bold moves, break the internet, and create new records while making history. Joining us to discuss some of the big wins, we have a friend of the house, the one and only <coughs> VJ Adams in the building. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Amazing. Wow. I love it. <laughs> I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. What's up? Now, let, let's talk about, uh, before we dive into a proper, you're about to do your gaming challenge. Oh, yes. Celebrity Video Game Challenge 6. Hey. It's yeah. the sixth Ooh. edition. Um, Why did you even start? I used to run a game center. Yeah. Oh, I started okay. game center as early as 2003. Onile, you get me? Yeah. Let's take your money. Okay, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Caste. Um, so it was, that was the basis of it for me. But the real idea of the gaming tournament started from, in 2006, there is a place at the, at the mall. I don't want to call their name because that's product placement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, within the mall, there's, there was a game center. And at some point, I saw Frank Adoho playing the late Dan Foster. So I was there to play as well. But I realized that I stopped to watch like other people. And I thought that was cool. So this was 2006, but I knew I needed to be famous first to be able to do that. So I pursued uh, my career, and then 2013 I did the first one. Mm -hmm. um, I took a break. I brought back the second one in 2017, 18, filled up a 4,000 capacity venue in 2019. Mm. 2020 happened, obviously COVID. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then I did the fifth edition this year in May. Um, so we're staging the sixth edition come January 7th. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, so I actually really love it. It's like one of the things I look forward to, particularly because as much as you're not playing, it's fun watching other yeah, people watching play. Yeah, watching other people And then it's not even just video games because people on the side, it's not like everybody just standing and saying, yeah. see, they're playing game. Okay. There's Jenga. There are like a ton of other things you can do as well. How difficult is this putting all this together? Because it's always packed. Uh, th this, is, this is the hardest thing I've ever done because, I mean, over the years, I've been able to um, maybe create music, maybe yeah. DJ, do other mm -hmm. things. Fashion. Create fashion as well. Mm -hmm. But this takes everything up for me. Like, wow. I've barely slept. That's why this glass is not fashion. Because <laughs> of nothing. Of nothing like, oh, it's just, oh my Dennis God, this one, they're always wearing glasses in the back. No, I've, I've barely slept. I, so I, I played a gig last night. So um, it takes everything for me because I'm in full capacity yeah. as myself. So I'm, I'm not only writing the scripts to the promo wow. materials, um, not only am I chasing sponsors, no, you know what I'm saying? Standard. So, plus, <laughs> I'm headlining um, deliberately in all the communications. You would only hear Vijay Adams present Celebrity Video Game Challenge mm -hmm. um, because I want people to come out to have a good time to yeah. play games. Yeah. I don't want to say, oh my God, we came out for OJ. We did not see him. So, <laughs> I'm, so I'm never calling no celebrity At name. All. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Week of the event, though, mm -hmm. maybe with my social media, I might push out a few banners. Yeah. But okay. that's where it pretty, pretty much ends. So um, it takes everything from me, but it's exciting. Yeah, okay, it's, so also, it's definitely exciting more because you actually get to play games with other celebrities. Yeah. Yeah. So you can literally get there and you and Ice Prince are gaming. Yeah. Like, it's really cool. It's yeah. really so cool. apart from meeting celebrities there, are there going to be any surprise performances? Um, that's why it's a surprise performance. Okay. You're not gonna know until you get there. Oh, shit. <laughs> get me. Out. Okay. Because, I, because I try not to drive the conversation of the event from a performance standpoint. Yeah. I want you to come have a good time. Matter of fact, in May, there was no performances. Oh. And it's one of those events that you will not see that, ah, the event was not sweet because there was no performance. <laughs> That's not what happened. You know? so of it's, course, um, it's games. It's, it's the direction I give. So it's uh, for me, mentally, I want you to walk into the arena mm -hmm. and find something doing. There's Ludo, there's Jenga, there's Snookball, there's Snooker. There's just come with your guys, do your thing. Matter of fact, I remember 2019, I was looking through the pictures. It was until then I saw Rick Asani because I didn't see him mm. in person. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, Rick. You went there, you said, Baba, don't worry, we didn't work on that. We didn't work on that, we didn't chill. Yeah. So I'm like, I enjoy that. That's, that's why I really do this. Um, so, yeah. All right, sounds pretty amazing. So now let's talk about the fun and exciting things that happened in the year 2022. Mm -hmm. And we're starting with Thames, baby. Mm. To begin with, Temilade Okweni, popularly known as Thames, bagged two BET awards. She won the best collaboration for WizKid's uh, song Essence, as well as best international act. She also won the best new artist at Soul Train Awards. In addition, Thames became the first African female artist 
to debut at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, which mm. obviously was a big deal. Mm. This is because of the amazing vocals of a song, Higher, mm. which later became sampled uh, by Future on a single, Wait For You, featuring Drake. Finally, the soundtrack, No Woman, No Cry, used in Black Panther movie, was revealed to be by Thames, as well as the pen game on the song, Lift Me Up by Rihanna, for the same Black Panther, amongst other achievements. So what do you think of Thames? Well, Thames is fantastic. You know, I think I'm, um, because I make music as well, mm -hmm. oh, well I thought maybe it was gonna minutes. <laughs> but, but when I hear it, I know it. I can, I can never forget. The first time I heard Try Me, was the first Thames song mm. I, I heard, I was driving and it was on a radio station. I can't call the name because it's get me. <laughs> it was my guy that was on air. So I literally picked up the phone to call him. As soon as he did the link, the song was playing. I called him like, who be that? Yes, Which song yeah. is that? He's like, oh, she's a new kid. She's, she's pretty cool. Oh, wow. And I looked for her. And I realized that the video, I think, barely dropped maybe the yeah. day before. And I posted it. I'm like, the, I think my caption was, she's next. Oh, wow. And I, did, I DM'd her. And she replied, she was like, thank you so much. This means a lot to me. But I mean, it ends there pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey. So, so I, I know it. I know she's special. Her voice, there's the, the yeah. tone. Yeah. It's and, and she got great image equity as well. Cause you know there are a lot of people that can be famous with the music, but their image equity wouldn't match it. So mm -hmm. the songs will be popular, yeah. but they won't be popular. So everything is 360 degrees for Thames. So the name is is pretty mm -hmm. good. You can remember it. Mm -hmm. Her face is very memorable as well. Yeah. She's good with the music. It's a complete package. Mm -hmm. And the guy loved the full package. Make a button. <laughs> so, uh, okay. I, I, so you're talking about... I think, I, 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 I think for times I just got tired of all the accolades. Like, they just kept coming in, yeah. coming yeah. in, coming in. We didn't even talk about the Beyonce project that she featured on. So just mm, yeah, this year, too. just give it to her. That's so, right. So Definitely. Uh, yeah. You had a great year. All right, still talking about amazing things that happened in 2022. Burner Boy sold out the Madison Square Garden Ooh. and received a national award. Mm -hmm. Yes, this year, Burner Boy bagged several awards, sold out massive venues, mm -hmm. and performed in virtually every continent. In April, Burner Boy made history as he sold out the prestigious Madison Square Garden in the United States. He also received MTV EMA's Best African Act, Best International Act, and Best African Act Award at the 2022 Mobile Awards, amongst others. And we then, talked about him for controversy. Yeah. And we're yeah. talking about him for oh. exciting things. Exciting and then moments. the national award was MFR. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Huh, a lot. All right, so, so what did you think about Burner Boy in 2022? Burner Boy, Burner Boy is special. Um, yeah. I think in terms of performances, he might be effortlessly perhaps the best African performer, no doubt about it. You know, Bonoboy is, <laughs> Bono Bono is the artist that can perform a new record, yeah. and then you're almost waiting for the new record to drop. Because I mm -hmm. remember the first true. time I, he performed last, um, last. last, 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 last at yeah, the March Square yeah. Garden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We literally were streaming, me and Spice, we were streaming <laughs> that performance <laughs> till it dropped. This song. Wow. That's power. You don't, you don't, wow. you, it's, not too many artists can perform a new record. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of artists will wait for the record to become a hit of record, course. then, then they start to perform it. Yeah. So yeah. that's very special for me. So, um, and also I, I know they're trying to fill up a stadium next mm -hmm. year. Yeah. Himself and we, so I'm looking forward to it. It's It's been a great year for him. It's Definitely the number of been. venues, it's the number of venues that Burning Boy shut down, like... Uh, he enjoys it. Yeah. I, I feel like Burning Boy, if he's <laughs> not gonna... If he doesn't perform, he, he, might, he might lose his mind. Yeah. Because he enjoys performing, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, that's his life. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, we need to go on a quick commercial break. Mm -hmm. And when we do get back, we've got a lot of good and exciting moments of the year 2022, guys. Keep it locked. Welcome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, we're still talking about um, the good and exciting moments in the Nigerian entertainment industry. We did controversial controversies yesterday, yeah. and we have to talk about the good things. And we have Vijay Adams right here in the building ooh, ooh, dissecting ooh. some of them. Oshie, Oshie. Hey. Not funny, I call him Vijay, Vijay Adams. Yeah. <laughs> I just joined everything inside together. So it's like... No, it's BJ. DJ Adams. Yes. She don't give you names. <laughs> um, well, true. I yeah. can't even argue that. <laughs> ah, now, wow. We, we get it now. We get it now. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so the next thing we're talking about, uh, we're talking about WizKid, who also sold out the Madison Square Stumble. Garden. Mm. Fast forward to November 2022, Barnaby Boy's friend WizKid achieved the same feat. Like, friends. talk about friendship. The Afrobeat heavyweight performed to a full MSG, thrilling fans with his hits from his latest album, More Love, Less Ego, as well as taking fans down memory lane to where it all started over a decade ago. That's so, right. Starboy number one. Um, Starboy, so Starboy is one of those artists that 
he can go two, three years without a record and he will still be star boy. Mm -hmm. Not too many people can do that. Right. A lot of people would have to drop records sure. um, continuously, continuously yeah. to maintain a high level of relevance. So star boy, star boy. Um, Starboy did three nights at the old two. Come on, I see. Come on, back to back. As in, they won to three. That's Starboy. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. That's the Starboy that's effect. So, Starboy, <laughs> Starboy is a big deal. He's playing a gig later tonight. I'm yeah. insane. So, I'm mm -hmm. excited to even just watch him perform again tonight. So, yay. Starboy is proper. Mm -hmm. Starboy hmm. number one. <laughs> <laughs> Love <Watch> Allah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we also have, of course, David O, who performed at the finale of the 2022 World Cup as he was on the official anthem. Nigerian singer David O sang the 2022 Qatar World Cup official anthem titled Haya Haya, Better Together alongside Qatar's Aisha and Trinidad Cardona. This is a new record for David O, being among the few Africans to achieve such a feat. But I want to find out, first of all, people yeah. were saying, you know, uh, well, not people, Daniel Rega, actually, <laughs> uh, were saying that, uh, no, he shouldn't have performed, he shouldn't have That's come out, he should have show. just left here and then come out next year. Do you think David O should have performed? Who's Daniel Rega? Mm. <laughs> okay, that's a perspective. Question. That's you know, of course, for me, I like um, the. I need to know the moral justification okay. and the audacity for you to think about another person's career that has been built over a decade successfully. To like, how are you? Who are you to advise? Like, you must have had perhaps a successful career <laughs> at anything. You must have been number one at something. On to Twitter. have some level. He's number one. Level. Uh, like, his career is on Twitter. Well, apparently. Yeah. No, we can't. That's we can't take that serious now. It's not. That can't be serious. <laughs> well, that can't be the real reason we're trying to discuss this. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think about the Vidos performance? Uh, at the uh, I mean, I'm just happy that he's trying to get back. It's a, yeah. he's had a tough, mm -hmm. tough year. So okay. um, beyond the obligations of contract and all of that, yeah. that made him perform. And of course. I hear the money was pretty good. Yeah. I hear the money was pretty good too. Uh, money. Um, but beyond <laughs> that, it was just good to see him back sure. yeah. um, doing what he loves. So um, if that's his perhaps last performance before the year wraps up and starts afresh that's next year, that's pretty good. That's fine. It's the World yeah. Cup. More the World Cup happens like... once in four years. Four years. So come on now. All righty. This next one caught a lot of people's eyes. Rita Dominic's wedding. Mm -hmm. Veteran Hollywood actress Rita Dominic tied the knot with Abu Fidenis Anosike at a manor in North Yorkshire, England. It was a simple yet fancy ceremony which took place seven months after the actress and her husband did their traditional marriage in a hometown in Emo State. In the same month of April, they announced the engagement. Both were star-studded with close friends and family members. And this was one of those weddings that people Man. were now using as a prayer point that yeah. Yeah, by, it's not by, not by age. Not, what do you think when you were seeing all those nonsense on social media? Me, so for me, I, I, I filter everything that I see. Um, mm -hmm. I just focus on the fact that, oh, Rita is married. She, this yeah. one she's married to. She's happy. That's what matters. I don't care about anything else, yeah. to be honest. It's none, none of my business, perhaps. Um, but I'm just excited that she's happy, mm -hmm. right? Um, and that's what really counts. The pictures look yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Um, and they're happy in love. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't even seen Rita in a movie in a long time. And for me, that's also part of the things I celebrate about old Nollywood. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that you can still remember Rita's name, Edo's mm -hmm. name, even though you cannot directly point to the last movie Either she you did. watched. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm a big Rita fan. Mm -hmm. Yay. OK. All right, speaking about engagements and, of course, weddings, Mr. Easy's engagement. And uh, Nigerian artist, businessman, Mr. Easy, has been in a serious relationship with billionaire Harris, actress and lifestyle vlogger, Timmy Otedola. In April, he posted a video where he proposed on the video set of his single, Legalize, which was an entire song about her, after revealing he spent two years plotting alongside her assistant. Oh, wow. Five years ago, they met in person when her sister, DJ Coffee, invited him to a gig she was playing in in London, and he took Tammy's number at the end of the night. We also and note, Tammy picked we... her call when he called. No, she I'm gave sorry. him a tough time first, though. <laughs> and now. Oh, this is what that video. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey. Let's go. Oh, yeah, Mongo. <laughs> That's really no. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm adjusting my shoe, sorry. No, because, uh, no, you were there now. <laughs> I said that was a video they did. No, they started a YouTube vlog, mm -hmm. and they spoke about a lot of mm. things. So what do you think about their engagement, Adam? <laughs> You want to I make I don't focus on you. I me? Focus on you. I now you've been in focus. There was pressure no, I mean, I mean, so, so, Mr. Easy, from a business standpoint, I know that he's very um, knowledgeable. Yeah, he's, exactly. He knows exactly what he's doing. And that's why sometimes when I see those supposed <laughs> banter posts when they say that, oh my God, he, he came, that, that I'm mm -hmm. like, I mean, it's okay, but 
Mr. Yeah. Easy can hold his own mm -hmm. oh, yeah. on a high level. I've mm -hmm. not even played on a high level mm -hmm. financially. Mm -hmm. There are some numbers that I had access to when mm. we did a record together, Bless My Way, in 2018. Yeah. And I'm like, you can't be serious that Easy sitting on this type of money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He owns Empower. True. He, mm -hmm. They should stop playing with Easy. He's company too. You know, he can hold his own financially. Put but beyond that, um, I th he's just a pretty cool guy. Yeah. And he's yeah. very focused too. Yeah. So and I know he's that lucky. the minute he saw her, mm. he knew <laughs> this is it. Uh, okay, um, uh, be let's... before we move on to the next one, as mm. you say, saw her. Mm. Somebody fell in love and then 25 days later said she was engaged officially, her sister. So can you yeah, talk let's... about that? Can you touch on that? To, to be honest, um, love, how people fall in love, when and why, mm -hmm. I, I never get involved because <laughs> I think it's just different for, uh, for everyone. Yeah. People can give you the supposed story of the 90 day rule mm -hmm. and they do the 90 yeah. day and after mm -hmm. the 90 day, day. Oh, the 91th day. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And someone can tell you about the fact that they fell in love and in 10 days they got married, married and they're yeah. still together after 20 years. Mm -hmm. So all of those things, it doesn't matter to me, to be honest. I don't, whatever works for you. Um, I think people's energy um, match differently. So if you find someone whose energy matches yours, um, Run out. Just <laughs> Oji, have you heard? Uh, yeah. Oji, are they here? Happy um, swapping for them. Let's Leave the to, street. Let's go on a quick break. I will be back with Vijay Adam. I'm still right here. Leave the street. <laughs> Oji, follow. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. VJ Adam still right here in the building. OJ in the building. Lady Cass in the building. Of course, Dalai in the building. Energy. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Hey, she never first collected. Oh, God. Oh, God, you see, it's a good thing. You don't drop. You don't drop now. Oh, God, we don't drop. Don't give me right now. You don't drop. Please. All right, guys, we're still talking about exciting times of 2022 in the entertainment industry. And of course, there are a whole lot, but we'll just be touching on them little by little. What do we okay, have and uh, we're still talking about weddings. Blossom ah, Chuku Jeku's wedding. Oh. Nollywood actor Blossom Chuku Jeku tied the knot with his lover. Winnie Fred Akwe Moka at Love World Incorporated, also known as Christ Embassy Church in Lagos. The White Wedding, which had hashtag Bay 2022, was a star-studded affair. The couple held their traditional wedding in Edo State on May 20, three years after his marriage to Maureen ACC, popularly known as Red Vigo, ended. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. You had to, okay. Um... I mean, it's, it's beautiful if people can find love again. Of yeah. course. Because um, I usually tell people, even when you divorce or you fight with your spouse and you people separate, it doesn't necessarily mean that the person is a bad person. Because no. that's the one I don't like. Every time, you know, as act So like, to decay the situation. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just, you, you now start to act like the person is a witch. Or the person was a witch. No, mm -hmm. you probably had good times. Maybe you, um, you could, just couldn't work. Yeah. That's okay. You can go your separate ways and find love again, which is good. So I'm happy for him. Yeah. That's about those people enemies. that just brought up unnecessary conversation during yeah. that period. That big. Uh, if, uh, you know what? Well, so, because for me, I think it's better to separate when it doesn't work than you re mm. resulting in violence or anything. Or wasting otherwise. your time. Or wasting your time, so. Uh, online bus boost. Yeah. It's, it's better to just let it go. Okay. Congratulations to them. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Next up, we have Shay Shay, who had a baby this year. Mm. Now, in April, Nigerian singer Deborah Oluwase Joshua Popularly known or professionally known as Shay Shay announced the birth of her first child with a picture of herself heavily pregnant with the caption, the eagle has landed. Mm. She had earlier revealed the gender of her newborn, a girl. She also stated that she was engaged when she confirmed her pregnancy rumors earlier in the year and she hit us with a whole music video. Man. Surprise baby mm. bump yes. and we loved it. How, yes, what did, did you think about this one? Um, I'm a big Shay Shay fan. I mean, um, I think I met her just when she was about to start her career in, mm -hmm. with music. Um, and she's a phenomenal singer. She can really sing proper. Yeah. So I don't know too much into her personal life. So, I mean, all of this news is just great. You just see them like, oh, my God, she's pregnant. Oh, my God, she's about to have a baby. You know what I'm saying? And she has a baby. And so I can't wait to see her come back with music, though. Mm -hmm. For yeah. me, that's, that's what yeah. I can't wait to see. Uh, it, it, it was even crazy. Yeah, but when, as I was talking about the performance that she did with her baby, it was when, um, I think, during an interview when they saw her with the ring and, mm -hmm. you know, they just pushed it. So I said, eh, somebody, somebody proposed. So it was like a joke. Like, are you yeah. engaged? Or what's the problem? <laughs> uh, somebody proposed and I collect that ring. Is it really nice? Yes, <laughs> She's no sense. <laughs> and of course, she performed recently um, carrying a baby on stage, and that was mm -hmm. beautiful to even yeah. see. That was beautiful to see. You wanted to say something? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's what I was going to oh, say. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He took the words right out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, talking about performances, this next one was a very big one. Mm -hmm. Fireboy's mm -hmm. big performances. 
So uh, on the 27th of June 2022, Fireboy became the first Nigerian artist to perform at the main event of BET Awards Sick. as he delighted fans with the performance of his international hit single, Peru mm -hmm. Para. Para. <laughs> Two days later, he shared the stage with British star Ed Sheeran in a sold-out concert at Wembley Stadium in uh, what was another record-making performance. The weight of the moment wasn't lost on Fireboy, who was captured, shedding tears of joy backstage, because mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. yeah. he's, he's worked pretty hard. I yeah. mean, people need to understand and put in perspective how hard Fireboy has worked, putting out three albums in a very short time. A whole lot. You know, so if you're going to put out three albums of, let's say, 10 songs per album, that's yep. 30 songs, it means he would have possibly recorded about 60 mm -hmm. or more mm -hmm. to be able to do that. And so think about it. He blew almost immediately after Jealous, so he's yeah. been on the road performing. So it means he needs to be very disciplined to be performing, creating new creating. music, getting ready. Mm -hmm. he's, he deserves everything. He's, he's pretty special. I'm a big fan. I'm Fireboy's album. So I have, there's certain artists where I'm excited about their singles. I might not listen to the albums when they drop. Mm -hmm. um, but Fireboy, I'm excited about his albums. Because mm -hmm. the Apollo album I thought was spectacular. Mm -hmm. um, his first album as well. I think he's an album boy. He's, he puts a lot of thought process behind it. Yeah. And he's able to find a great balance with um, R&B and pop. And that's why I'm, I'm a big fan. So if you had to look back at his songs from when he started till now, which is your favorite Need song? Need You. Mm. didn't even think about it. I <laughs> at all. Because the pen game in Need You is, is, um, is one of those songs that I know in another 10 years I would love to listen yeah. to, in another nice. 20 years. Yeah. So um, Need You is without a doubt my favorite Fireboy song. I, 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 for one, talking about the beats, I just love what happened this year. Um, Fields performed uh, outside. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Fireboy performing at the main stage, and this was something that was far, Absolutely. far from Something us. we've been fighting for. Yeah. yeah. It's just crazy. And talking about that, it means you need to give props to the two faces, the, the Bunges and the Peace oh, Quest. And then, because it's just generation by generation. Yes. Yeah, so they were the first course. generation, and then there's the Wiz, David O'Burn, David Lavide, Day, and then yeah. now it's Fireboy, uh, Fields Rebel, you know, and then okay. goes on. It, it can only get better. All right, all right. Uh, there's still a whole lot, but um, if yeah. we continue talking about exciting hmm. things, we'll probably not leave here. So, VJ Adams, uh, wh when is this gig happening? When is it? Um, it's happening January 7th. Okay. It's at Wave Beach. Um, doors open. Why are you taking Ooh. us there? New location. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Why there? Why? Yes. Um, because. <laughs> Because that's, that's when, different from what... Yeah. So, so what has actually happened is, for some reason, not planned, I've mm -hmm. never used the same venue twice. Yeah. yeah. And it's not even planned. So in 2013, I did Astro Turf. Mm -hmm. In 2017, I did Four Points. In 2018, I did the 2,000 capacity Bob Mora Hall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I moved to the 4,000 capacity in 2019. I did Beirut in uh, May. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I was going to try and use the same venue again. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> so I've actually never used the same venue twice. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, we're doing Wave Beach. Because mm -hmm. uh, I just also wanted to give a different vibe. I wanted yeah. to come out. What I usually tell people is, part of what excites me about these events that I put together is the fact that you don't have to worry yourself about what's weird like that, like that. It's not that deep. Just show up. Joggers, mm. t-shirt, whatever. Beach wear. You can't, you definitely have don't to stress, Don't stress. Don't stress. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, my makeup, my hair. Yes, you, know, you don't have to worry about all of that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, VJ Adams, for coming on the show today. Ooh, I've been ooh, an ooh, absolute ooh. pleasure. Thanks yeah. We yeah. love to have you here. And thank you for checking out the exciting moments in the Nigerian entertainment industry, of course, mm -hmm. with us on the show. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to go straight to happiness is free, guys, because you already know how we do. Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> energy. Hey, it's the energy for me. Do you, do you ever used to dance like that? No, no, no. <laughs> Listen, dance is one thing I'm so upset I can't believe. Really Are you serious? Yes, because. When I see those down, I'm like, oh my god, that leg, do we? I can't really dance, so oh, wow. it's, it's, it's pretty admirable to watch. Wow, 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 yeah. wow, wow. Yeah, but as we always say, happiness is free, guys. Of and course. on that note, we have come to the end of today's show and the show for the Woo! year. Oh, yes, yes, it is. It's Friday now. So and this now. is the last show for the year. Yes, yes now. Oh, that's the last edition <laughs> of East Splash. No, my brain, my brain. Okay, yeah. Sorry about that. Still <laughs> oh, wow. It's, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you guys yes, so much for did. tuning in. Mm -hmm. January, February, no, 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 Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. January, January, February, March, April, April May, June, July, July August, September, October, 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 October,